Hi guys, Justin here. And today we're looking at what I like to call my sometimes items. So this is a follow up video to my full 2019 gear list. I'll post a link to that in the description below. But these are my sometimes items. Items that I'll take on trips depending on the conditions and how much comfort I want on a trip. So first of all, let's start over here with some of the comfort items. I have a Nemo switchback foam pad. So this is the short version and I'll bring this if it's gonna be a little bit colder and I wanna put it underneath my sleeping pad or if there's a nice beach or lounging area and I know I'm gonna have a lot of camp time, then I'll bring this just so I can lay down and read or listen to an audiobook and hang out in the sun. Then we have the sitting items. I have the classic Thermarest Z seat right here. So I'll bring this if I know there's gonna be some stumps or chairs and it's gonna be a little bit wet and I want something comfortable to sit on. This thing's really great, really insulates your butt from any cold ground and protects it from wetness. Next up we have the Helinox Chair Zero. So this is the ultimate in chair comfort. If I know there's not gonna be any stumps or picnic tables at campgrounds or I'm going into the random backcountry wilderness areas, I'll bring this and then I can just lounge out and take the, a load off after a hard day of hiking. I'll bring the chair on probably 50% of my trips and then bring the foam pad on the other 50% of my trip. So I, I usually bring some sort of chair item. It just depends on the conditions. Next up, we get into some of the technical items that I might bring. We have gaiters that I'll bring if it's gonna be really muddy or really snowy. These are full length outdoor research verglass gaiters and they've been great for me. I'll also sometimes pair those under the snowy conditions with a pair of micro spikes these are just your steel micro spikes that pull over your boots. They're not extreme crampons, but will be good for walking on ice or some harder snow. And then if it's, I'm gonna be crossing some snowy slopes, I'll sometimes bring my ice ax. I have this around more for winter activities, but it gets some use in the summer times as well. And then I have an Openel number no. seven knife here. This is super lightweight and a really nice knife. And I'll bring this if I'm gonna be making fires. Basically I use this to cut up kindling and just in general for helping to make fires. And a couple more luxury items here. I have my mug. This is a GSI ultralight mug, I think is what it's called. I don't really remember, but it keeps things warm nicely as well as provides a vessel if I'm bringing some wine or whiskey in uh, this platypus flask here. So sometimes you just need a little bit of whiskey at the end of the day and uh, cut to put it in. <laughs> So this is a 10 by 10 sill nylon tarp made by Light Outdoors and it's super lightweight, only 350 grams. And if it's gonna be raining, I'm gonna bring this tarp because there's nothing better than being able to shelter underneath the tarp with your friends while at a campsite. Everyone having to go into their tents and just kind of bunker down is not that fun and having a tarp can make or break a trip. Here are my camp shoes. These are just foam sliders from Walmart. They're really lightweight and I bring them if I know my feet are gonna be wet or it's snowy and my feet might get a little bit damp and cold, I'll bring these just so I can air up my feet and not have to wear wet or cold boots or shoes over the course of the camp night. You might've been wondering in my gear video where my travel was. Well, a lot of the sites I go to have outhouses and I don't need to travel very often, but when I do need to travel, I bring this Vargo titanium dig dig trowel. And I really like this trowel because of the serrated teeth on the edge here. For some reason, whenever I choose a spot to do my business, it's really rooty and having those serrated teeth really allows me to cut through those roots and make a nice big hole to bury all my business. And now we get into bear gear. And while these are sometimes items, they come with me more often than not. I have bear spray, which basically any trip that I'm doing into the mountains or bear country, I'll bring with me. And so this is with me probably 90% of the time. There's a few hikes out in the prairies and other areas of where I live where there's no bears. So I leave this at home. And if I'm hiking alone, I'll bring this little air horn as well. It just gets really sketchy when you're hiking alone and you're walking on a narrow trail with really good brush cover and you're walking into the wind. The number one thing you can have in that scenario is an air horn and blast this every five minutes. You'll scare off any bears within I think it's half a mile so really has been shown to be really effective and if I'm bear, in bear country and there's no bear lockers at a campsite I'm at or I'm random camping I'll bring the Ursac Almighty so this is a bear bag that protects against bear punctures as well as little critters 
So I like to have this just so that little critters, mini bears don't get into my bag and bears don't get into my bag. And so far I haven't had any tests with this bag yet, but from what I've heard, it's really effective and will keep bears out of your gear. So those are all my sometimes items. I'd love to hear what you guys have for sometimes items. If you have any questions about any of these items, leave them in the comments below. I've done gear reviews on some of these items, so check the description for links to those. And we'll see you guys next time.